Alright, here it is. The most requested video on this channel. Well, not really hev heavily requested, but the electronic on this channel that's been requested the most. I've had a lot of requests I put on the... Uh, you guys re might remember a video that I did on this back in April of 2018, I believe. So, I, two years ago. And I put a comment just recently asking people who wanted to see it again. And a few of you said that you wanted me wanted to see me do another video on this again. And the original video has over 3K views. I think it's at 3,315 views. Or maybe even more now. I'm not sure. So I just have it hooked up to the uh, Saw Direct Satellite. The, the Saw Direct Digital Satellite Box. Just with, just with the RF out and the clip lead. Because I don't have the... Uh, and had the 75 ohm adapter with me here. I left that back at my place. And I ordered a few of them uh, off of eBay the other day. They're just coax to a 3.5 millimeter jack adapter. Just 75 ohms for the uh, external antenna in, in the back there. So all you need is a 3.5 millimeter, almost like a headphone jack. Those, so those are 3.5 millimeter jacks. And the other end is a coax. Anyways, yeah, this is about a... I was actually kind of surprised at the date. It's about a, what is it, 2003? January 2003, yeah. So I'll just do a quick recap here for some of you who didn't watch the original video. Uh, yeah, no no brand, no name. Uh, 2003, mini personal television with AM, FM radio. It's the VHF, UHF TV, of course, just an analog TV. It's probably it's probably just it's probably just one of those cheap ch Chinese made uh, dollar store TVs, you know that they would sell in the dollar store back then for people who want, people who just want a little cheap TV to have on their dresser in their bedroom or for their campers or whatever. And so I got the uh, I hooked it like I said I hooked it up to the uh, digital satellite box and just the just this past year or so in April 2019 just a year ago they actually. It's, over a year ago, it's a year and two months now. They put out a new channel lineup. Thanks securely from anywhere, anytime. So like I was saying, I apologize for the uh, TV, TV on in the background there. If I have this TV set off up here, I'll show you what it does here. It takes a while for it to pick up and sync to the Alright, so you can see that there's just an audio, just the audio right now. It's hard to make out the uh, text on the screen with all the noise in the picture, but... New HD. Something, I can't really make it out, but it says something about... Disconnect the HDMI output on the back of your satellite receiver. So I'm guessing if I pull out the... I'm just getting the audio. Yeah, you see that? Seems like turn the flat screen on up there. So why do you have to have two outputs going at the same time for that to work, for the RF output to work? That can't be right. Something, something's not right here. So anyways, like I was saying, they came out about, was it, April 2019. So Shaw Direct, it's one of the local uh, satellite TV services here. They put out a new channel lineup. So a bunch of the channel numbers change and everything. Alright, so anyways, I was going through some of these last night just to get used to the new uh, channel lineup. Like I said, this is I'm not, I'm not back home at my place. But here there's very few subscriptions. So the ones that are highlighted, the ones that you see are highlighted are the ones that have been subscribed to. The rest are not. So... And back at home, I have all the other ones subscribed to at my Shaw cable with my Shaw cable service. 
I don't have satellite back home, but I have Shaw Cable Service. I would say that we do hear you. Uh, and many of those officers who are out there on the street with the demonstrators uh, share much of the outrage uh, that so many of us so should be uh, when this is the atrocious crime that was committed in Actually, I think it's slipping through the... Is it slipping through the filter on the satellite? Because I know on the, on the satellite is a filter that I believe filters out the channels that you're not subscribed to. And it only... It receives... It receives... Uh, it receives digital satellite signals, but it only, it only... The only ones that get through the filter are the ones that you're subscribed to. And it filters out the ones that you're unsubscribed to, I believe. I could be wrong. But I don't think CNN's on the subscription here because... It's not highlighted. Yeah, all the news stations, all the, uh, 24-hour news networks are unsubscribed. Here's 258 CNN HD. Yeah, that's not subscribed to. If I go here, I got the, uh, flat screen on because it, it, I got the flat screen on because, like I said, it won't, for some reason, you gotta run two outputs for the RF output to to stay on, or else you're only outputting the audio through the little TV down there. So here we go, situation room, you can see, so that one's been subscribed to. All these that are, they're blanked out, they're not, they don't have the color underneath them, they're unsubscribed to. That, so that, so CNN HD hasn't been subscribed to, but is it slipping through the, uh, I mean, I know this, I should have mentioned this Shaw, Shaw Direct Satellite System is a bit outdated. It's, it's the old uh, Shaw Direct Motorola utilities. But I mean, hey, as long as we get our, our fake news, right? And I have applied for unemployment in the last 10 weeks. Sorry about the noise in this. That's as clear as I got. That's, that's as clear as I can get it. My only thing I have is this piece of coax and this uh, clip, lead, clip lead with me. I left the uh, RF amplifier, the RF TV amplifier, back at back at my place. So there's also a few uh, few notes jotted down on here. So channel 195 football Sunday, and that is. Right there, channel 195, CTV2 Alberta, which is the Canadian simulcast of... Uh, CTV2 is the Canadian simulcast of NBC, NBC's, NBC's uh, Sunday Night Football. Of course, those are some of the uh, U.S. networks. So there's NBC, the East Coast feed, and the West Coast feed. It's the same for ABC, CBS, Fox, PBS, and... Uh, NBC, they're all the same. So they, eat, so they each have an East Coast feed and a West Coast feed, at least the news networks do. And so that the, uh, so that the time slots don't get screwed up. There's BBC World Service. I don't know that I'm subscribed to that. Let me check it real quick. So why are we getting BBC World Service? Here, hold on. See, that one's not subscribed to on this, through this system either. So why, why is that happening? So I just have it on the weather network now. In Canada, we call it the weather network. In the US, they call it the weather channel. Yeah, so the, yeah, so the telescopic aerial is about... Uh, a little over five meters. So it's not a very tall antenna. The processors have moved way back. Uh, but this is the first time that we have seen them uh, out here. For the most part, we have only seen the guys on top of the fifth precinct. We're going to move back some. First of all, as he says, it's a piece of furniture because you really can lounge in this chair. Cases today, bringing the number of active cases to eight. 
One of the cases is an employee at a long-term special care facility. There were about 50 residents uh, in that facility, and again, they've all, we have a rapid deployment team that was sent there to test them all. The person blamed for spreading the virus is a doc. The family's lawyer says the incident was a mental health call, which was not appropriately handled by police. Ontario. Important stuff right there. Where's your car? get converted by this and then we can hear everything that's going on in that room oh oh but the best part are these these you can see heat signatures through walls through walls harley i've always wanted my own personal cue and now i got my own personal cue okay i got something seems like an awful lot to pay for such a small problem small problem you could responders, workers at select hospitals, staff and inmates in some correctional facilities, those who work at liquor stores, and people who live in vulnerable communities like long-term care homes. Pop-up assessment centers and mobile testing units will be used in the province's hardest hit areas. Ontario's Premier says the expanded testing strategy is the best defense against the virus as the province reopens. He's also considering regional reopening. Premier Ford joined all the premiers from across the country in a virtual meeting with the Prime Minister last night, their 11th weekly meeting since the pandemic began. One of the key issues discussed, long-term care homes. Our chief political correspondent, David Aiken, joined... All right, so I'm out in the back now by the uh, post with all the satellite equipment on it. Or all the filtering equipment or whatever you want to call it. Just apologize for the loud-ass air conditioner right next to me. It looks like you can see there, there's an old satellite splitter there with the grounding wire on it. I don't even know if this is in use. I don't know if this is the old one. There's a bunch of disconnected coax cables, so I'm going to guess this isn't even in use. Yeah, because it's up here. I think it's up here. So there's the satellite from the back view, as you can see. You can't see the camera in the damn bright-ass sun, but... You see it runs all the way into through the wall there to the back up against that wall is where the main box is in the TV cabinet and it goes right into there. there's two satellite connections here antenna one and antenna two or antenna A and antenna B so back up here you can see the I'm not gonna open any of this because I'm not I don't work for the satellite companies or cable companies, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just leave that to them, because I don't know much about that. Yeah, it looks like it was... So there's a satellite dish in the back view. And you can't really see it from up here, but there's a filter that's put on there. That, so, so, that, so when you see the channels, let me open the fence and get around to the other side. And it just reminded me that I meant to show you guys the back of the main satellite box. You can see there, I turn it, there's satellite one and satellite two. And then there's a UHF, there's a UHF input. Okay, well I accidentally pulled the st stupid DC plug out. I'm being a bit of a dumbass and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. But anyways. Baby, I know 
So yeah, that's the new Shaw Direct lineup. For Shaw Direct Satellite. And like I said, the equipment I have is the old uh, outdated Motorola equipment. Now all the all of Shaw's equipment comes from a company called Eris now, as well as Telus. Telus Telus's equipment comes from Eris as well. And that post there, I think I don't think that's for. It looks all disconnected. I think that was the old, the old satellite filters or whatever that was in there, the old the old high voltage satellite, whatever 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 it's called. It looks like it still had a few. Uh, High vo looks like it still had the high high voltage lines on it. I don't know if it's still alive or not. I'm not about to shove my hand in there and find out. And did I mention this TV has crappy pots or at least switch pots or whatever it's called? So if I switch back to the radio, I guess I can show you a bit of the radio function. So right now I'm on FM. See, it's AM. I think that would be awesome. And it's the VHF high. Right there. Uh, but obviously it throws in more pieces to the puzzle, right? George, and then you, you push it over further like that. I think it's an interesting concept, though. I know that there's going to be teams who don't want that to happen. Say the Memphis Grizzlies. I think they have the, the most... See, AM, SS, FM. AM soft right there. And you can push it forward, but I feel like that's going to break the pot. Because this is, like I said, probably just a crappy, cheap Chinese dollar store TV radio. I know I've seen that. Uh, I was Googling it a while back, and I saw a lot of dollar store branded ones. I, I found out that the, the, the dollar store sold a lot of these back then. The tuning knob is not my favorite. It's hard to get it to it's hard to fine tune with. So there's contrast, brightness, and vertical linearity or vertical hold knob. If I can fo focus the damn camera on the subject. And then there's a switch here to switch from the external power output, which is the 12, the, the uh, 12 volt direct current input. Or you can switch it to battery. So it I think it takes, what, about nine D-cell batteries, which is kind of ridiculous, or maybe six, something like that. And if you switch it over to charge, you can plug in the 12-volt direct current adapter in, and it'll charge if you have rechargeable D-cells in there. If you put if you put in some rechargeable lithium-ion D-cell batteries, it'll recharge when you put it to charge mode. You can you can buy the if you go on Amazon you can buy the Amazon Basics ones for pretty cheap. You can buy up to a package of twelve I think D batteries which is all right. Flip it up here and there's of course the uh, I don't know if I showed this in the original video but there's the uh, battery of the part battery compartment. So like I said it's probably eight or nine D cell batteries so one two three four five six seven yeah eight. So it takes eight D cell batteries and you can put eight uh, rechargeable lithium ion. D cell batteries, like I said, and you can put it on charge mode and recharge it with the uh, adapter. This also comes with a car cord adapter I showed in the original video. I don't even know what the hell happened with that. It's somewhere. Alright, well, I was leaving the files to upload into the drive again. I went around the house and I ended up finding the uh, car cord adapter. I went by the uh, office or the den, I guess as it's called, and I found the. Uh, I found, there's a little bucket of cords in there, chargers and different miscellaneous electronic items and I and I went through there and I ended up finding the uh, car cord adapter was in there. I don't know if it's just me but the uh, telescopic aerial seems a little loose. It's flopping all over the place. I'm gonna tighten it up here. Okay, there we go. Model I guess model PK 4184 4184 I guess I could take I guess I could take the chassis off and show you guys a little bit of the inside. Alright, well there you go, there's the uh, chassis popped off. 
Does the yolk, of course, it doesn't look green and oxidized, so it's not bad, of course. And my suspicions are right, it does have the plastic casing on it, and I thought for the date of 2003, it would have to have the plastic casing, like the, uh, the newer 90s style cable televisions have. There's the high voltage line to the CRT. Like I said, it's a pretty small CRT, it's only like five, six inches. I don't know what that yellow ST SFU is. That's some sort of filter. Here's the AM bar antenna. So what's on that? I don't know. So did, so, did someone Some, put some sort of glue or clear wax on the on the connector to the CRT because now no one can pull that off to fix any of the pins or anything why is that really there's the uh, of course the external antenna connection but why is See, usually you should be able to take that off, right? But someone, I guess, glued it or put wax on it. Doesn't really look like wax. It looks like some wax was maybe poured on here. Why did they cover it in wax? So I guess, so I guess that's the brand of the CRT. It's uh, Sunshine. So today is... Uh, Saturday, May May thirtieth, twenty twenty, and today is the uh, space SpaceX uh, rocket launch today. This happened today at around three three twenty, three fifty, three fifteen, three twenty Eastern time. Twelve fifteen, twelve twenty uh, Pacific time. There's a few shortwave frequencies you can listen to the uh, communication frequencies from the NASA communication frequencies. In the Kennedy Space Center. I don't remember what the I don't remember the frequencies off the top of my head. Fifty-two minutes. All right, looks like it's a go for the uh, SpaceX launch. The weather seems to be cooperating. They're just filling up with fuel and they're getting ready to uh, launch. There's Trump in uh, Pence. Now here we go, 45 seconds. Actually, 40 now. Go. You heard it. You heard it there. It say go. Here we go.
Jones, that's the first time in nine years they've launched off the U.S. soil.